coming up in Ms. Tastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms hi my friend we are going to be learning and making art for summer today and I'm so excited excited because I love summer now summer is the season that happens after spring but did you know that summer is not the same in all over the world so if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, summer is June, July, and August. However, if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, summer is December, January, and February. So that is really cool. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you're having summer. When you're having summer, the Southern Hemisphere is actually having winter. And when we're having winter, or if you're on the Northern Hemisphere and you're having winter, the Southern Hemisphere is having summer. And that's a really cool fact. Let's take a look at some different activities that you might do during the summer. There is hiking, swimming, kite flying, camping. You might go to an amusement park or you might go to a fair. Now let's head over to the art studio where we're going to draw a silly sun and we're going to make an artwork of a tropical fish. Let's make some art. All right, let's make our sun. Silly sun, so we gotta make it silly. Circle. Picking it up so it's a nice strong focal point. Circle on either side. A line between. We're going to add our tongue. So we're going to do a letter M width of that line. Or big wavy U coming out. And we'll connect the line down. And then we'll just connect this down to the bottom of it. And then color in the dark of the mouth. Circle, big circle in each each eye with a smaller circle as well. Color in the dark of the eyes. Reading the circle point. around the corners of the mouth, around the eyes, around the edge of the sun. Next we're going to add a triangle on the top, bottom, side to side. And then we're going to do a wavy triangle 
so cute. Next we're gonna color in the dark, or sorry, color in your sun, leaving, uh, leaving a little bit of white along the top. And then we're gonna color it in using your choice of colors and mediums. I think I'm gonna have to use a crayon for my orange. Oh, 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 oh. Count some more felt markers. Let's do this guy. They're so tiny. I use a little bit of blue around the eyes. And just like that, your sun is done. All right, we're gonna do a silly sun. Okay, I'm being a wax crayon to draw with. No, we're not doing a silly sun. That's, we just do a silly sun. We're doing a tropical fish. Let's make a tropical fish, black wax crayon. Here we go. Nice big curving line up and over. And I like to give it a big mouth. I love fish with big mouths. So I'm gonna do a nice whoosh, line up, whoosh, line out. And always, always, always draw with sound effects. It makes it funner, more fun. Okay, curving line on the end here, like a little U for expression. You see how it makes it look extra, extra awesome, that little detail. Sound effects. For the belly to make a little tail. So that's where our tail is gonna go. Right there, it's about finger space. Okay, curving line up and down. And you see how I'm going over more than one time? That is to make it bolder. Okay, now you can do whatever kind of, you can do wavy edge, you can do zigzag edge, you can do straight. I wanna do wavy so you can make your tail however you want. And then you'll add a curve on the top, curve in the bottom. Wavy lines. Next. Three curving lines for gills. We're gonna add a circle for the eye. We're gonna color it in until we leave just a little bit of white, a little circle for white. Lines in the fins. Scales. And then you can 
add different designs. I'm gonna do a spotted fish. You can do whatever one you want. I'm gonna go ahead and paint. In fact, my temper paint is actually from the dollar store. Yep, this dollar store temper paint for kids. And this is plain. Doesn't matter. Just use whatever you got. a different spots. <laughs> I'm going to do white spots. I know they're white already, but I just want them to be nice and clean. You can see I painted over. So I just want to add a little purple on my brush, I guess. I want to be painted looking. I like the textures that the paint brings. So I'm not leave it looking like paper. Then it looks like it was mist. So there's even... What's next? Oh yeah. <laughs> Water. I'm gonna do stripe. I'm gonna do it on alternate between blue and purple. You can do whatever you want. I'm not going to rinse my brush. You don't rinse, oops, wrong color. You don't <laughs> rinse your brush, you pick up the other colors that you were using before on your brush, and it makes it like a new color. You also get variety in there, you can like see the previous color. It's really cool. Blue now. Okay, 
and now I'm gonna add some spots to make it look more tropical. Spots in my spots. And on my tail. And just like that, your tropical fish is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.